you. Students in Cape May County, meantime, helping with a very important release today at the Wetlands Institute in Stone Harbor. News 12 New Jersey's Erica Such was there. Here we go. Good job. You can put it right down here. Perfect. Today in Stone Harbor. What's your turtle's name? DJ. Let's see that handshake. Good job. Kindergartners from Stone Harbor Elementary hard at work. We released turtles and we also went in a line and we released our turtles in order. The class learning about Diamondback Terrapins this year and fundraising to help support the program at the Wetlands Institute, which helps raise these turtles from eggs. All of them come from eggs that were recovered from the roads, so they were eggs that would not and under no other circumstance would have survived. And what we're able to do, um, it's female tur turtles that get killed on the roads. And what we're able to do is to incubate terrapin eggs at a temperature that makes the um, turtles develop into female turtles. Once hatched, the turtles are turned over to Stockton University to raise until they can be released. 18 set out into the marsh today by these students. They really um, pick up so much and they live in this community, so it's really important that they, uh, they do know these things. The Wetlands Institute says more than 500 female turtles are killed on the roads each year in coastal New Jersey communities, most by accident. But these students want you to know. When you see a sign that says Xing, you should slow down to make sure you don't run over the turtles in your car. In Stone Harbor, Erica Such, News 12, New Jersey.